Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today it's another kata with JavaScript the 7Q um, entitled Dominant Array Elements. Let's try to understand the exercise. An element is an array. An element in an array is dominant if it is greater than all elements to its right. You will be given an array and your task will be to return a list of all dominant elements for example let's look at this so seven is greater than everything on its right that's why it's on this list uh, for no 21 is greater than everything on the right that's why it's here now five doesn't have anything on its right but it's there so I assume the exercise um, automatically takes the last element on the right so there are many approaches to this exercise we are going to start from from the last like for example let me first create an array answer which will have our final answer and I'm automatically put the last element inside All right now from the last I'll be moving right to left like that so I'm going to have a, um, a variable that is going to point to each number as we're moving right to left. And what would that variable basically have? If I'm pointing at 5, I'm going to check is 7 greater than what I'm pointing at. If it's true, it means um, 7 is greater than everything behind it so I'll take 7 and insert here and then my pointer will move to 7 now I am at 4 I will check is 4 greater than the pointer no so this can't, can't be 4 can't be inside here so my looping variable will move to 21 while the pointer stays here now is 21 greater than the pointer yeah i put 21 here now my pointer moves to 21 and my looping variable is going to check is this greater than the pointer which points at the position where 21 is nope so I'll have a pointer that will be pointing to biggest element as we're going ahead and then I'll have another looping variable that will be looping logically one element at a time from the last to the beginning so I have a my pointer points to the index of the last element and the last element is at index this minus one okay so the variable that is going to look from right to left I'll call it i so i starts from we have already put the last element here so I can start from second to the last so I will start at this second to the last is r at length minus 2 and I will move we we'll continue moving till we arrive in the zero so y i is greater than zero Shall we do? We shall check if the element at i 
is greater than the element at the pointer. If that's the case, so when we start here, pointer will point at the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This 5 is at index 4. So pointer will be pointing at 4. Now, I will be pointing here at 3. So that's the comparison. What I'm doing here is 7 greater than 5. Yes, if that's the case, we need to take. Remember, we had our answer that already has the last element, which is this 5. So we have to take 7 and put in front of 5. So we have to unshift. Answer that unshift. We are going to put array of i and then we we'll move the pointer to this index now it's going to continually do that so if if this condition is not true our pointer will stay the same but i is going to go down to zero up to zero actually so greater or equal to at the end, we're supposed to have our answer. Um, I can just return it. All right, let's see. I have some errors. Now, the first thing in debugging, I have to display the original array. that I can see visually and then I want to display the answer so that I can see the difference okay let's see so we have these It means um, it just has the last element. It means whatever is inside this loop isn't working. What do we do now? Let's see if it enters this loops. This loop. I just display loop to be sure that it enters inside. It doesn't. I can't see loop. So, what about this this upper part of the loop? It doesn't. Also. Why? This is crazy. Alright. I hope it comes here. Yeah, no issue. Now, it means I hope I treat this properly. Is this. Let's just check syntax of the. <laughs> it happens for loop javascript I hope I respected the for loop syntax because it doesn't even enter inside come on internet is slow All right Okay. Yeah, I got it. Mm 
y is greater than zero minus minus uh, let me display i it doesn't even enter this loop now have i put the right parameters the like the max and mean value the start and ending value for the loop Oh, I didn't write length properly. This is crazy. Okay, that should be fine. Test. All right, sorry about that, guys. I think we're good to go. Okay, see you on another video. So I can just clear the console logs. This